deception. People use it all the time. And if you know what to look for, you can spot it. There's a science to it. Psychologists use it, professional interrogators use it, I'm pretty sure my grandmother uses it on me. It allows all of those people to see when someone is hiding something just by watching their body language. Jen, how's that booyah base? That's great, thanks for the recommendation. Mm, now you see how her nose is wrinkled up at the top? That's a sign of disgust. And the raised upper lip, same thing. Why? We don't know. Is she allergic to shellfish? Is she allergic to soup? It's unclear. What we do know is that Jen does not like that dish. Enjoy. I will. Look at the crow's feet around his eyes and the pushed up cheeks. He's happy. Corner of her mouth, contempt. They're in for an interesting night. I don't need to listen to these people's conversations. I can tell what they're hiding based on their body language. Now, what if we could use that method to detect encrypted threats on the network just by looking at packet flow body language? Packet flow what? Oh yeah. Welcome to the future, Jimbo. It's called Cisco Encrypted Traffic Analytics, and it identifies suspicious behavior within encrypted traffic without decrypting it. How? When hackers hide malware inside encrypted traffic, Cisco can identify that suspicious behavior by looking at the metadata of the flow. Using machine learning and analytics, it actively learns what's normal behavior and what isn't. And so, as hackers adapt, so do you. And that, oh, keeps you one step ahead. Yeah!